Have you ever wondered how the internet actually works? When you're chatting on your smartphone with grandma, or playing an online video game, or sending an email to a friend, the internet can feel like magic. But understanding how the internet works is critical, especially when policymakers are considering net neutrality rules that could dramatically change our internet experience. So let's go deep inside the internet and take a look at what's actually happening. Internet traffic is divided into parcels of data called packets. The packets split apart when you hit send and come back together when they arrive at their destination. These packets are converted into pulses of light or radio signals that travel through a cable to a device called a router. The router sends the packets along to their destination. It operates something like a conveyor belt sorting luggage at an airport. When there's no congestion, these packets move to their destination without difficulty or delay. But what happens when there are too many packets moving through a junction at a given moment in time? Let's say an email hits a bottleneck. Random packets will drop and try again a few milliseconds later when it's their turn at the junction. Your email may be delayed a second or two, but for most of us, that's no big deal. But what happens when real-time traffic like a video chat or voice call hits the same bottleneck? If packets are dropped, you may be disconnected. The voice may be garbled. The video may be jittery. There may be a delay or an echo. The experience is incredibly frustrating. And this is even more of a challenge when speed matters, like with fast-paced stock trading or online video gaming, as well as with new applications like real-time health monitoring. If the packets aren't reassembled at their destination just at the right time, just in the right order, the applications won't work properly. Fortunately, there's a way to avoid the vast majority of these problems, and that's through scheduling of internet traffic. By labeling packets and making the sorting devices understand which packets need to go where and when, everyone's experience gets better. Scheduling of internet traffic allows for real-time applications to be routed first, while other applications can be sorted as space becomes available. Scheduling also opens possibilities for consumers who want specialized experiences, like fast-paced stock trades or online video gaming, that can be provided without impacting the experience of other consumers. Now, is there a role for government in all of this? Absolutely. To stop or punish bad acts, Blocking of legal content is wrong, and anti-competitive behavior should be investigated by regulatory authorities. But without the ability to schedule, which helps prioritize traffic when necessary, our internet experience won't be as good as it can be. Policymakers are deciding how flexible or restrictive net neutrality regulations will be. The fact is, not all bits are created equal. If we treat them that way, consumers will pay the price and they won't have access to innovative new technologies and services that have the power to improve our internet experience.